we're going to make fish and chips. It's a little bit different from what you're used to, but it tastes fantastic. And for the chips, I'm going to use celeriac. It's a pretty ugly looking vegetable, but it tastes fantastic. First thing to do, cut the top off, turn it round and cut the bottom off. Cut the outer skin off, just reveals all this really nice white kind of flesh. It's quite dry, it's not like potato, it's not got a lot of water in it. So they make really good chips. Cut them into centimetre slices all the way through and then kind of take half of them, put that back together, cut them into the, what you would normally expect chips to look like. So I've got a baking tray here. You just need to drizzle some oil on there. Just scatter them all over there. And then we want to season them up with some salt, black pepper, and then just to kind of reinforce that celeriac kind of flavour, I want to add a few fennel seeds in, which is going to work really well. Give that a good shake, and they can go into the oven probably take about 35 minutes. Next thing we're going to do is the fish. Now I'm not using batter for a traditional fish and chips, I'm going to use breadcrumbs for this one. So I want a couple of slices of bread, cut those into smaller pieces just to give the food processor a bit of a head start. And then I've got one of these little handheld ones here, in with the crumb, and I'm going to flavour that with some herbs. So I've got some tarragon, parsley for a good bit of vibrant green colour. So on with that and then blend that up. So you can see that's really nice and fine. It's just got that nice kind of green, fresh tinge to it. Next thing we need to do is get some parchment paper. So just pop that out and we want a little bit of oil on there and that'll stop the fish from sticking. Spread that about on there. And then for my fish and chips, I'm gonna be using mackerel today. So just pop that onto the parchment paper, skin side down. All we need to do Scatter the breadcrumbs over the top of the fish, nice and simple, and then any bits that you've missed, just scatter a few more on there, press it down till it's completely covered. No need to worry about egg washing, flouring, because we're just doing the one side. I'm just going to season that with a little bit of salt and pepper. If you bring your celeriac chips out of the oven, these are just starting to soften and get crispy on the outside. To make this really easy, I'm washing up is move the celeriac chips down to one side. We'll just take this, pop it there, and then we'll put the whole tray straight back in the oven for another 10 minutes, 12 minutes maybe, till the fish is cooked. There we go, all cooked. And what better way to serve fish and chips than in some paper? So lift the fish out, and then big pile of these lovely chips. Stick them on there, and a nice wedge of lemon to go with it, it's perfect. And then just a little bit of parsley, something like that for some colour. And there you have it, my perfect fish and chips.